Don in London, hello, June 24th, 2009. Time now, coming up to quarter to nine in the morning. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. And my, my addictive substance was alcohol, my behaviour to extremes. You know, it, it was always to extremes, trying to be good, trying to be perfect, never so. Never ever so. And uh, what's helped me get into a place of recovery a day at a time is family, community, society, professional help and something which is the bedrock of everything I do which is to be sober today and what helps me most with sober today so the rest of life can work with family, community and society and other professionals is simply the fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous and uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea but we do drink a lot of tea in the fellowship I cannot speak for this fellowship because it's full of unique authentic people and I don't want to speak for the fellowship because it's just a society or a fellowship. It's not there to fix anybody. It's there for people to find wisdom on how, on how to keep sober one day at a time. And the preamble or the statement at the beginning of every meeting is said, outlining just exactly what is AA. And it goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And that final sentence is really part of why I do these videos on recovery, which is our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And we only have to do it for a day, one day only, this 24 hours. And if a day isn't working too well and we find ourselves at the bottom of a pit of despair or desolation, uh, we, we try to start the day again and say, OK, this is just how it is today. And, you know, understanding where reality is, is often seen as the spiritual connection to living because if we're in the moment of now able, able to, to perceive as best we can with whatever is left of our sense or senses we have a better connection to the reality of now and that is spiritual for me reality ups and downs bumps and grinds all that sort of stuff joy and sadness it's everything so we have our good times and our bad times and uh, we can be grief stricken around a lot of things and one of the things obviously for any addict is giving up that thing which they felt or I felt was saving my life on a daily basis and that was obliterating and finding oblivion. Sometimes I just didn't like my life and I certainly didn't like me and I didn't like the way I was and sometimes on a Sunday morning when I had a hangover, well I never really had a hangover in the sense of a headache. I just didn't. But I can remember and recall many occasions where I used to find whatever remnants of alcohol in, in, my, in my place and pour it down the sink because I, I'd had enough. I didn't want any more that day. And I thought, you know, a week or two with that would be a good idea. But guess what? By the lunchtime or the evening, I was down at the bar or the off-license or the pub or somewhere just taking one drink just to, I suppose, take the edge off those frayed nerves and frayed bits and pieces of me and then going to work on Monday just in the same old state of here we go again for another week of whatever it is and it could be exciting or just absolutely deplorable and uh, along the way we lose our sense of what is right and what is wrong probably. The gift is that uh, although we were dishonest in our drinking times to some extent there was a lot of good and bad in there so we need not throw everything away and I, I feel that every drink which got me to a place where I needed to understand I cannot do this anymore was worth it and it went on for too long, it hurt me and other people and it made me isolated and absent from friends and relatives. So it's a, it's a tough one this and I had a couple of emails yesterday about what do we do if and what can I do to help somebody and often the only way to help somebody is to be supportive as best we can but at the same time don't put ourselves in danger or make ourselves the, the object of blame by somebody who is in addiction and 
you know once a person realizes they cannot stop no matter what they do and they are defeated I guess that's where the the starting point can be for a change in attitude and behavior but it won't happen overnight and there is no quick fix we have to come to a conclusion about what is good for us and how do we how do we go about it so for me the journey was hard because I had every coping strategy available yeah maybe I ought to call this about coping strategies but you know what it was it's actually that was it I learned how to cope with every adverse situation so I had a, a handbook in my head of adverse situations and a coping strategy to match those things except for one and that was how to stop addiction and now I've realized it's it's never going to be a, on, on my own exercise I need to be involved included and part of something which helps me keep sober one day at a time so AA fills, fills that uh, gap inside me if you like so I can lean on fellowship and at the same time then get on with the rest of my life as well so all to the good and um, <clears throat> I did suggest and I hope it's a good suggestion I could be corrected when asked what to do about somebody in the family ask professional people what to do uh, seek medical support not only because you're trying to help somebody with an issue but because medical support will probably offer two ways forward first is to make sure the person doesn't find themselves in shock from stopping drinking and secondly they may suggest uh, getting information from AA the fellowship and it's only a telephone call away and you'll find the number locally in most telephone directories or from whatever directory inquiry system you have with your mobile or with your landline and I'm already on seven minutes good grief anyway uh, I share daily reflections here which I hope is helpful and it says here about a spiritual kindergarten we are only operating a spiritual kindergarten in which people are enabled to get over drinking and find the grace to go on living to better effect in other words get on with life and as best we can in the day when I came to AA I was run down by the bottle and wanted to lose the obsession to drink but I didn't really know how to do that I decided to stick around long enough to find out from the ones who went who went before me all of a sudden I was thinking about God or good conscience for me or whatever higher power is appropriate depending on our belief I was told to get a higher power and I had no idea what one looked like in fact it doesn't look like anything I found out there are many higher powers I was told to find God as I understand him not as anybody else understands it but as you understand it or a higher power that there was no doctrine of Godhead in AA absolutely true we're all unique and authentic I found what worked for me and then asked that power to restore me to sanity the obsession to drink had, was removed and one day at a time my life went on and I learned how to live sober and I guess that's what the fellowship does it gives us a, a, a breathing space to be able to get sober and it's important because it's only a bit at a time you know if we don't drink one one day and carry on like that before we know where we are we're, we're quite a long way ahead of where we, used, where we were before uh, it says here victory and defeat in as Bill sees it and I might just have enough time convinced I never could belong and vowing I'd never settle for any second rate status I felt simply I simply had to dominate every, in, had to dominate in everything I chose to do work or play as this attractive formula for the good life began to succeed according to my then specifications of success I became deliriously happy but when I, an undertaking, undertaking occasionally did fail I was filled with resentment and depression that could be cured only by the next triumph very early therefore I came to value everything in terms of victory or defeat all or nothing the only satisfaction I knew was to win only through utter defeat are we able to take our first steps toward liberation and strength our admissions of personal powerlessness finally turn out to be firm bedrock upon which happy and purposeful lives can be built and my time is up and as I say at the end this serenity prayer God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference just for a day to whichever higher power let it be that way